Hi, I'm Dave Gearhart, Chancellor of the University of Arkansas. I recently had the chance to read The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks by Rebecca Sklute as part of the One Book, One Community project. And you know what? I loved it. This book is the remarkable true life story of how a young African-American woman who died of cervical cancer in 1951 actually lives on in the form of HeLa cells. HeLa cells, an abbreviation of her name, Henrietta Lacks, are cervical cancer cells that were taken from her body and subsequently preserved, grown, and maintained in laboratories. Due to their unique ability to continue replicating, these remarkable cells have been used for medical breakthroughs and scientific advances all across the world. Among them, the cure for polio. Unfortunately, these advances happened without the consent of Henrietta Lacks or her family, and thus her story poses numerous ethical considerations. It is a complex and fascinating story, told with intelligence, clarity, and compassion by Rebecca Sklut, who worked closely with Henrietta's youngest daughter, Deborah, to ensure that the family side of the story was accurately told. This story also intersects with research being addressed today in our labs and classrooms. In fact, Dr. Sha Jen, a biomedical engineering professor in the College of Engineering, uses a line of HeLa cells to study an immunodeficiency virus that infects horses and is the equine equivalent of AIDS. In so doing, she is trying to answer some of our toughest scientific questions. How do these viruses mutate? and how can they be stopped. The One Book, One Community Project is an effort to unite our campus and local community through a shared learning experience. All of our incoming freshmen will be participating in reading The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks and so will numerous book clubs across Northwest Arkansas. I want to encourage everyone, faculty, staff, students, and community members to also read this book and learn more about the scientific research engendered by Henrietta's cells, as well as the difficult ethical controversies they sparked. In support of the One Book Project, there will be numerous activities throughout the fall, including public lectures, a presentation by Dr. Jen, and a visit by author Rebecca Sklut in late October for a series of talks and book signings. To learn more about the times and dates of specific events, please visit the website on your screen. I sincerely hope you join our campus community in reading The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. It's well worth it. Thank you.